collective worship to do with harvest. And uh, I thought today what I'd like to do is share four thoughts about harvest. And instead of having a prayer at the end, I'm going to do a thought and a prayer four times. I wonder whether you can think in advance or guess what the four things might be uh, as I think about harvest with you. But we will start with the prayer as well. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a great God who created this wonderful world. And I pray now as we spend some time together thinking about harvest, that you, dear Lord, will remind us of your power, your greatness and your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, four things about harvest. And I've already said it really one of my, in my first prayer. One of the first things that's obvious about harvest is it encourages us to think about God who created this world. God the creator. Uh, there are some, there are lots of old harvest hymns as lots of new, as long as well as lots of new ones. Uh, one of the ones I remember from when I was little was called All Things Bright and Beautiful. You may have heard it, you may not have done it. I wonder if you can guess what the last line of the, of the chorus is. All things bright and beautiful, all things great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them he made them all, and in a way that is the, one of the great points of celebration of harvest time, to thank God for all the things that he has created, from the greatest towering mountains topped with snow, to the, to the valleys down below, to the enormous animals, to the, great tine, to the tiny things that you can't quite see, uh, for fields of grain, so many things in the world that we can enjoy. We know that there are problems in our world, but the world that God created, when he created it, he saw that it was good. Do you remember that story from Genesis? Each time God created different things, he saw that they were very good. And so in harvest we want to celebrate and thank God for the wonderful world he's made with so many things in it that we can enjoy. So here's a prayer again of celebration for all that God has made. And you might also think, particularly of pictures you can think of of the world that make you want to say, thank you God for this world. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful world you have created. For sunshine, for clouds, for rain, for snow for mountains or rivers or seas and tides and waves and sand and fields and flowers and food for people, for families. Thank you, Lord, that everything was created by you and that you are a God of great power. Just a moment, perhaps, to thank God for your favourite things that you can see and enjoy. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Well, thank, thanking God for all that he's created. And then, of course, specifically at harvest, I wonder if you thought of the next thing. The next thing is to thank God for the food we can enjoy, the harvest, the harvest of grain and or, that um, goes to make so many things that we eat and enjoy, the harvest of fruit, the harvest of vegetables. In this part of the world, uh, you see lots of tractors on the roads. Uh, you see, see them towing big, big loads of different sorts of vegetables. It's an amazing sight, really. And uh, we've got a fruit tree in our garden and it's a mysterious thing when they all grow and then you can eat them straight from the tree. So thanking God for food that we eat is actually quite an important thing. It's awful just to take things for granted and never pause to say thank you. In our house we always say grace before meals, which is a very simple way of saying thank you to God each day. Sometimes very quick, Lord Jesus, thank you for this lovely food. Sometimes with a rhyme, when the when the little when our youngest grandchildren are with us, but it's a wonderful thing to thank God uh, 
for everything he's provided in the world that keeps us alive and that we can enjoy. So let's pause to say thank you for the food that we eat because we know that everything in the end comes from God. Heavenly Father, thank you that you've put so much into the world. Uh, thank you for the food that we can enjoy. Thank you for those who plant and gather and bring it into our shops and uh, for all those who work so that we can buy it. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've provided in this world, for the things that taste so wonderfully, for the things that are healthy for us to keep us alive. Thank you that you've provided everything. Give us thankful hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, celebration of all the world that God created, because God is the creator, thanking him for the things that we can eat, that we can enjoy, and for the, the marvel of harvest, really. I wonder what you might think the third thing will be. Well, I think the next thing for me about harvest, these days particularly, is the fact that if this is a good world that God has created, and if we are thankful for all the things that we can enjoy, there's also a sense that we are, that it's important for us to care for the world that God has made. Now, many of you will be very aware now from news programmes and things in school that there are problems in our world, that there is the thing about animals becoming extinct, all part of God's wonderful creation, but because of the way that human beings have lived uh, and because of problems in, in the in the in the warm the world getting warmer there are problems with animals dying out so we need to care for a world or oh, there's a whole thing about pollution and plastic getting everywhere and and spoiling uh, the well-being of animals in different places and even in the ocean and we sometimes see awful pictures of how plastic is clogging up different places uh, so one of the things now, which is a great and important theme of har for Harvest, is caring for the wonderful world that God has created. God did create a wonderful world, but some bits of it are being spoiled. And so one of the things for human beings to work out is how to care for our world. So let's say a prayer about caring for our world. Heavenly Father, thank you that you did create such a wonderful world. And I pray that you will help us to be people who care for the world you have made. And we pray for governments and agencies and people who are trying to make things better. For campaigners who, who try to bring this to people's attention. We pray, dear Lord, that you will give us grace to care for your world and make it a safer and better place. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, I wonder what you think the last thing will be. Four things. God's wonderful creation. Thanking him for the food he, he provides. Caring for his world. And my fourth thing is sharing. It's, in some ways, you know, harvest is the odd one out of the festivals uh, that we have in, in Christianity, because Christmas is about Jesus being born, Easter, Jesus dying, Pentecost, uh, the Spirit coming to help us. Uh, harvest was way before, has existed for longer even than those stories about Jesus, because it goes right back to the very beginning of time and people being grateful for God's creation. Uh, but at Christmas we give presents to people, very often people we know. In Harvest, one of the great things is to share with people we might even know, we might even not know at all, but who we know are in need. And so one of the great themes of Harvest has be, is quite rightly sharing with people in need. And that's why very often we in our church give uh, food to for places like a food bank that helps people who haven't got any food, or the Salvation Army, or Shekinah Mission, uh, because there are lots of people who are nearby who don't have enough to eat, and it's a really important thing to, if we're thankful and caring and grateful to God, to also want to share the things that he's given us with other people. So a great theme for Harvest is being ready to share with other people 
and to give to people, even if we don't know them ourselves, something to help. So let's say a prayer about that final theme. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will give us generous hearts as we, as we celebrate your creation, as we thank you for the food you provided for us, as we care for your world. Help us also to have a heart that wants to share with others and to bring help to people in need. Thank you for pe people like uh, the Salvation Army and the food banks and Shekinah Mission in Plymouth who will help those who are in need. Please help them and bring your blessing to them. In Jesus' name, Amen. So there's our four things uh, to remember. God's creation, thanking him, caring for his world and sharing with others. Let's pray for God's blessing. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us now and always. Amen.